Hey, this is Simeon from Praisetracks.com. Sometimes when you're looking for a portable keyboard, some are too big, some are too small. But I think the iRig Keys I.O. from IK Multimedia might be the one that's just right. So stay tuned as we take a look at IK Multimedia's iRig Keys I.O. 49. Okay, we're back. And uh, you know, I've been working with the iRig Keys 49 for quite a while, and the more that I work with it, the more versatile that I find it can be. And so just a quick overview, uh, the iRig Keys IO 49, it also comes in a 25 key version, but the 49 key version, I think is, it just hits that just right category. Uh, one of the great things about the iRig Keys 49 is that it has built-in input and output. So you you, can, you actually have a place for the mic and audio output. It has a built-in audio interface. So it eliminates the need for actually bringing another piece of equipment along. You can plug this right into your iPad, your PC, or your Mac. Uh, but you'll notice right at the top, you've got uh, full-size 49 keys. And uh, I've got Sample Tank for... Uh, pulled up here on my PC here and um, and just having 49 keys it it's not a yes not 61 it's not 88 but it's the it just gives you that sweet spot I think uh, as far as number of keys and you can still kind of get around on it pretty easy. And do you notice that the um, you've got octave up and down over here, so you can so you can just go through the uh, different octaves there. You've got pitch bin modulation. You even have some transport controls, which are really handy uh, that it can actually interface into some DAWs to control recording and stop. Uh, you have some data entry knobs as well, and you look it looks like you have five, but you actually have eight, so you can go between the the different ones, and these actually control different parameters uh, within Sample Tank, or you can custom MIDI learn to uh, control parameters that you want. And you can store up to 99 user presets, so you can configure this keyboard uh, pretty much any way that you'd like and store it as a preset, so the next time you pull it up, it's gonna be ready to go. Uh, so let's just uh, kind of run through a couple of sounds uh, using uh, Sample Tank 4. Just take my uh, data knob here, and it's kind of scroll through some of these presets and then when I press enter, it'll load this uh, for me. And I'm very comfortable playing this keyboard. It's just got such a really nice, really nice action. I mean, it's not, it's not like some keyboards that I've played that the keyboard's kind of mushy. Uh, and uh, this one has a, like just enough, uh, enough resistance and bounce back that it's uh, very responsive. Yeah, it just has a great feel to it. And then it, like I said, again, the 49 keys make it perfect uh, just to just be able to just do different things. Let's look at the drums real quick uh, because Another another thing that the uh, Iri Keys I.O. have, uh, you have these really cool drum pads, and uh, so I'm going to load the acoustic pop kit here. So you can actually play these pads, and you notice that they, they illuminate, and they illuminate according to how hard the velocity is. So you play them kind of soft, and then you can really hit them pretty hard. And that's customizable too. You can actually um, customize the touch sensitivity of the pads uh, just to give you the right response that you want. You also have control over each individual pad as well as far as velocity and even uh, MIDI channel. So you can trigger samples, you can trigger different parts and that kind of thing. And you can store it as, once again, an IO, uh, an iRig Keys preset. So if you have several different setups, you can configure the keyboard for a particular song, send that setup, and there you go. And it integrates with all of your DAWs, you know, Ableton. I use it with uh, Cakewalk by BandLab. Uh, and then we're going to see how we can use it with an iPad as well, uh, which makes it just great. And you can also play the drums from the keyboard.
so let's just see. Let's go over back over to the uh, the organ. Let's do some. And then you've got different drawbar presets. And let's go ahead and enter that. Here we go. Smooth jazz organ. So what's really cool, I can scroll through using the data wheel and then when I press it, it will pull up that preset. And I could use that mod wheel and you notice it's not really a wheel, it's actually like a touch control. So you can actually, you can just touch the... And let's look at the, some of the effects here. Uh, we'll come up, go to the effects rack, and you see the... And then... Yeah, so and it's not like a way to keyboard so you can really get you can really get some slides going on there so one of the cool things when you're using like uh, some of the synths so let's uh, just pull up uh, one of these uh, synth leads here um, da -da -da. yeah let's just try um, just the just one of these <laughs> okay so I'm going to see if we can Yeah, so that's that's pretty fat. So watch watch what happens with these touch sensitive controls. Uh, unlike a wheel, these are pretty much uh, you can touch anywhere on the uh, strip and get the feedback. And then especially with the pitch. That's pretty cool. One of the great things about the iRig Keys IO49 is that it can work with uh, whatever uh, computer system you have, uh, or even uh, your tablet, your iPad. It's just so flexible. Uh, you notice also that I've got a sustain pedal connected here, and that just makes it just makes it so good to be able to um, have that control, especially when you're doing uh, you know things like piano and that kind of thing. And then the touch response again is just terrific. I mean. But what makes it great is when you have this uh, battery powered or you can, it comes with a, you, well, it doesn't come with one. You can use it with a, uh, an additional adapter and uh, you can plug this into your iPad. So with the iRig Keys IO49, uh, and an iLoud speaker and an iPad, you pretty much have a self-contained, uh, you know, just just a, like a live instrument setup. I mean, the the iLoud speaker here is just so powerful, and it and it could, it's really uh, capable of uh, just feeling like a small room if you're like doing a small party or that kind of thing. I mean, that's it's perfect for that. Uh, and and the outputs just go right uh, from the iRig Keys IO49 right into the uh, the iLoud uh, speaker. Uh, and then there are a few apps that come uh, with the Ira Keys IO49. And at the time that I'm doing this uh, this video, IK Multimedia is is going to give you uh, the full version of Sample Tank 4, uh, Sample Tank 4 Max, which is like a $500 value. So uh, you know, if you are looking for a portable keyboard, uh, now is a great time to. Um, to, to get on board with the Ira Keys I.O., uh, either the 25 or the 49, uh, because you're not only going to get a great keyboard, but you're going to get a just a powerful uh, set of apps and, um, you know, just uh, Sample Tank 4 in itself uh, would be worth <laughs> getting the keyboard. So basically you'd get Sample Tank 4 and, and the keyboard would just be a bonus. But, uh, you know, 
once again, thanks for watching. And the Ivory Keys IO49, I've really, the more that I play it, the more that I enjoy using it and the flexibility of being able to take it out uh, to play, uh, just to do some fun things. Uh, you know, it just makes it so much more valuable and, and a lot of fun. And then if even if you have a, a larger keyboard setup, this is a great way to add an additional keyboard, maybe to do some different things with it. Um, so that's the Ivory Keys 49. Ivory Keys IO 49 from IK Multimedia. And um, once again, thanks for all the support. And uh, if it's your first time here, please subscribe and click on those notifications. And because uh, I really want to uh, keep bringing you some really good content and that kind of thing. And so thanks for watching, and we'll uh, look forward to seeing you again real soon.